Hello y'all and welcome back to Big Bear Gear Reviews. If you like what you see, please leave a like, share, subscribe and hope you enjoy the show. Alright y'all, today I want to talk about my All right. multi tools. Now the first knife I want to talk about, well multi tool really, is this huge gigantic monster which doesn't even really fit on camera when it's opened. This one was a tool I got from my brother when he joined the, uh, joined the military. Um, it comes in this really nice nylon webbing sheath. It really reminds me the um, uh, the Gerber set of tools, like the Gerber tools. Even though the tools are different, but I don't know the look, the feel, and it has a really nice um, you know, Velcro pouch with a you know horizontal or vertical carry, which I really like. Sometimes I like carrying the bigger tools um, uh, ver uh, vertical horizontally. That's the uh, case it comes in. Tool itself has, well, a pair of uh, spring pliers, which I'll talk in a second. It's got pretty loose over the years since he's had it. You've got a knife, which when I gave it to him was pretty sharp. I sharpened it up uh, right before I did this video and before I gave it to him. You've got a Phillips head screwdriver, a can opener, which probably had the most use for opening like, tuna cans and things like that for when he was in the army. There's a file, which is just a one side file. The other side is a ruler in inches. It's funny because I bought this in a Israeli um, pre-military store where they sell all these uh, gadgets like this. And it's in inches and nine centimeters. Um, on the other side, we have a flathead screwdriver with a bunch of um, hex wrenches. I believe this one is a quarter uh, quarter inch. I don't really know. I never tested. I could actually. I have here these. Just a second. No, nope, none of them are a quarter inch, so I can't use it for uh, a bit kit. That's kind of a shame. So you have that, which is just a uh, flat tool. You have this which is there's a little notch here for like cleaning stuff out and a bottle opener there's a saw which actually works pretty well it's a, a pull saw and a flat head a small flat head screwdriver it's on a sprung the spring pliers and all the tools are non-locking so there's no there's slip joints this one, that's this one. It's a little uh, stiff to open and close it, but so what it is. It also is kind of heavy. So I took this from him because I had one like this, and I uh, I gave it to a friend. To uh, I lent it to a friend, and he hasn't returned it yet. But I took it, my brother's just so that I can show you the uh, tool. The next one is Ganzo. This is the G202. Um, the tools it has on it is a saw, small, really tiny saw. Again, this one, all the tools are slip joint, none of them lock. There's a, like an awl, even though I found it works very good as a carving knife, more than an awl. There is a, I'll get to that tool at the end, there is a sheep's foot um, straight blade. A, a really nice pair of uh, scissors. Fold them. Oh wait, how do they go? They get folded out like that, right? And put it in. There is a flat head, small flat head, which I'll show you in a minute why I find these screwdrivers on this tool kind of weird. There is a can opener and wire stripper, and there is a serrated knife. I mainly use this serrated knife for food when I take this out because of the type of serrations. It's like really just like kitchen knives and it's a pretty decent uh, serration pattern. Now this thing is a adapter. This knife comes with a bit kit where you get a bunch of uh, bits. I think the, uh, what is this one? You get an H2 which is a uh, H2 all the way up to H6, a few flatheads and a few uh, Phillips. And you get this um, adapter piece, which is a little hard to take out sometimes. Just wiggle it out, and it sits in there, and then you can attach your 
uh, bits. This takes standard quarter inch bits. So if you have a unique bit you need, you can buy it and put it in. So that's uh, the Ganzo G202. And it comes with this really nice rugged case, which again is a horizontal or vertical carry. Inside there's a little pocket for the um, uh, bits. Here, get them, I'll show you. Pocket for the bits and for the uh, multi-tool. The uh, pliers in here are, wrong direction. Pliers in here are pretty decent. A nice uh, set of pliers. I'll put this in the case and put it out of the way. The next tool is from Gerber. You get a, these are, this is the, uh, they actually lock. There's another not lock because I have some of the tools opened. You have a flat head, which is really sharp. There's a Gerber suspense. There is a flat head, a Phillips, and a saw on this side. I'm gonna close them all, just except the knife. And as you see, it locks in place. There's a, uh, like a little, almost like an axis lock, where axis? Yeah, like a you know bar lock where you pull back and then you have it on both sides so you can uh, do it easier. You have a pair of pretty decent scissors and they close like almost every multi tool do. Why isn't that? Because I'm closing it funny, it's a funny angle to me. There we go. You have a eyelet which is so you can attach it to like a, a, a lanyard or whatever. You don't have a use for that really. You have a small flat head, a bottle opener and can opener, and a serrated blade. Which again, the other tools lock in place if they're the only if they're opened. You have little thumb studs to open them, and on the knife there's a dry so you have a serrated, the saw straight and scissors so you know what it, got, what it carries in it comes in this nice well, pretty decent uh, sheath again vertical and horizontal carry um, I don't really know what to say about this tool more than that the next knife this is a Ganzo tool I don't remember the model and it doesn't say on it um, you get a nail cleaner with like a nail file on it you get two different sizes of Phillips, which I think is kind of neat. A eyelet, with, which I attached a little lanyard to. A uh, knife, which actually was probably the most sharp I got in this size multi-tools. I'll show you in a second. A flathead can opener, or bottle opener, sorry. A small flathead. A awl, which is really dull and a serrated blade plus again you know pliers spring-loaded pliers really nice and it comes with a teeny bitty tiny um, you know, belt uh, sheet the Ganzo logo on it the next knife is well this is like a cheap you get this all over the place it's a like three bucks. I got this one as a gift from a friend. He gave it to me as a joke. There's a flashlight which died like really quickly and wasn't really that strong. There's a knife which is really, really dull. I mean, I didn't even put in the effort of trying to sharpen it. There's a flat head, uh, for Phillips, a flat head with a bottle lifter and a serrated, which actually is not that bad for cutting stuff. And of course, there is a little plier in there. So just a piece of, it's a joke a friend gave me and I really like it. So I don't really like it, let's be honest, it's a piece of garbage. This one I bought when I was probably 14. It came in a set with a small blade which broke like two days after I bought it and a flashlight which I had for a few good years and I don't know what happened to it. Probably broke and I threw out. It has a knife which was pretty decently sharp when I got it. I've never sharpened it since and I don't use it so I never do that. A bottle opener, flat head, Phillips, uh, serrated blade, a nail cleaning tool, small 
uh, what is it called? A small uh, flathead can opener, which probably I used a few times and it works really nicely, and a flathead. And this thing again is sprung. So this one is the Leatherman Micra, I have it in blue. You get a big pair of scissors instead of pliers. The tools are on the inside, so you get a screwdriver, can opener, bottle opener combo. A Phillips head screwdriver, it even says on it for Phillips. A pair of tweezers, these are the least effective tweezers I've had, but they are kind of okay. On the other hand, you have a knife, a flathead screwdriver, and then a nail tool. We have the nail cleaner and the like nail file. Ow. And as you guys can see, tools are on the inside. That is the Leatherman Micro. Next, you have the Leatherman Squirt. You get a small Phillips um, style, small flathead. Uh, screwdriver, a large flathead with a bottle opener, a pair of scissors, a knife, and a file, and this one is on the um, pliers. So this one is the Leatherman Square PS4. Okay, I'm just going to get out the other uh, squirts that I have because I have a few of the models. This is the uh, Leatherman Radio Shack uh, version. It's basically a squirt, but with a few differences. You get a knife blade. You get a small flathead screwdriver. You get a large flathead with a bottle lifter. You get a really nice Phillips screwdriver. You get a um, file, which is you know two different grits. You have fine and coarse, and it can be used as a uh, you know notcher for a me as a metal saw for small metals, metallic uh, objects. Sorry, and you get a pair of tweezers. Now this one as the uh, main tool, you get a pair of wire strippers and wire cutters and a little crimper at the end which is very unique, it's the only um, Leatherman tool that I, or in its style tool that I know that you get like a few different gauges of a uh, wire stripper, a wire cutter and a wire crimper or you know for those little metallic things you crimp onto the wires and the other squirt I have, the other yeah squirt is this one, move these out of the way which is just the Squirt S, you get the uh, Phillips, this one does not say on it for Phillips, you get a Phillips screwdriver, you get a uh, nail file tool with a ruler on the back, it's like one inch or three centimeters, or how yeah, much is it, an inch and a half maybe, I don't know, the measure, never used it really, you get the uh, flat head and uh, bottle opener, small flat head, which is also really good for you know if you have to fix like, fill it, small Phillips. You get of course your knife blade and a pair of tweezers. And as your uh, main tool, this is you get scissors. This is the Squirt S, so you only get scissors. There is also they had a version uh, Squirt uh, P4, which was just pliers. I couldn't find that anywhere, so this is what I have. And as you, you can see by the names. The uh, PS4, which is the most common, is plier and scissors. So this is the uh, technically uh, from the same family that I own. The uh, next tool is the Gerber Dime. I've talked about most of these tools pretty much a lot, so there's not really much I can talk tell you that you don't know about them. You have that goofy file and uh, 1D Phillips. A pry bar flathead. Pair, nice pair of scissors, a knife, and a package opener. So now also has a pair of tweezers, and of course the oversized, you know, full decent uh, 
cap lifter and you know pliers my last mini of this type it's going to be the Leatherman style CS I really want to get the style PS but I don't uh, have it so this is what I have now it has a knife it has a you know long flathead screwdriver with a nail file you get a tweezers Oh, stuck in the uh, scale you get a carabiner with which is doubles out as a bottle opener and your main tool is a pair of scissors on the uh, style uh, P, uh, PS I believe it's called you get pliers and you get a small pair of scissors instead of the knife so technically I believe it's TSA compliant I don't know I'm not totally sure Okay, this is the Leatherman Wingman. I'm going to start with the tools that are on the outside. You get a big, really nice pair of scissors and a combo blade. I'll show you them again after I close the tool. You get a um, wire cutter, pliers, needle nose on the uh, pliers and they're sprung. So they have a spring in them. On the uh, tools that you get, I'm going to start with this side, you get a uh, package opener, you get a file with a small flat head on it, it's a one size file, the other side is like a ruler, and you get a can opener with a wire stripper on the bottom, that's on this side. On the other side you just get a um, a 2D Phillips screwdriver and a flathead and there's this little thing which I they call it a wire stripper or something it's just a little divot in the tool okay, close the tool you get a pocket clip mine broke and they fixed it and it broke again the minute it fell it's supposed to have like a little metal bar in here that goes into the hole right there mine broke I don't really carry this tool anymore so I don't care that much for it as I said on the outside you get a locking combination blade you have serrated and flat uh, straight edge and you get a really nice pair of scissors so that's the uh, Leatherman wingman the sidekick is very similar a few tools are different the next one I'm going to show is the uh, Leatherman uh, tool this is the also known as the uh, PS1 or just the uh, PST sorry um, you get all the tools are on the inside you get a straight uh, blade you get a awl or uh, yeah it's basically like an awl a small flat head and a large flat head pry bar tool on the other side you get a coarse and less coarse um, file, a small, like really small flat head, a 3D uh, Phillips, and a can opener, bottle opener tool. The tool is no spring, it's really nice, you get your cutters and a regular Leatherman tool head. This one is a really nice tool. I've been carrying it for a while on me. Um, the next tool, as a matter of fact, I just put that one back in my uh, uh, on my belt. The next tool is the Leatherman PST2. Um, it's a very similar layout. I mean, the tools are all on the uh, inside. Let's start. You get a combination blade with a. Well, Two thirds serrated and third straight. You get a pair of scissors, which I'll show you guys in a second. You get also two flat heads. One of them can be used as a uh, pry bar. Now the scissors are actually pretty nice. And the tool is uh, closed. You have a nice pair of uh, scissors. None of the tools on these on the and these two lock except but on the wingman the scissors and the knife lock everything else doesn't lock on the other side you have a file and a knife sharpener with a 
like a thing for fish hooks so you can resharpen your fish hooks you have a small flat head which I've been using also as a little uh, punch for some stuff uh, Phillips and bottle opener can opener combo and of course your uh, I think this one is a really nice really nice tool the other the only other big Leatherman I have is the Leatherman Skeletool which is uh, nice you have really a lot of ways to carry it, it does come with a pouch I got the second hand so I don't have the pouch it has a carabiner bottle opener so you can there's a little uh, does it have yeah it's a little symbol up there might focus might not I can't really see but there's like a bottle so you know that's also a bottle opener you have a pocket clip you have a blade you can get this in ser semi serrated I think you can also get it in full serrated or uh, you know this one which is a com combination and you have a, a screwdriver with Leatherman's um, bit piece I can uh, you know I have the set of bits so I can you know always you know, replace to the bits that I need but the other nice thing about this tool is you have a storage in the handle for a I keep the uh, flathead uh, bit in here that is the Leatherman Skeletool thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed the video um please share like and subscribe and i'll see y'all on another day